All of this adds up to an argument for the existence of God that goes like this. If God does not exist, the applicability of mathematics is just a happy coincidence. But the applicability of mathematics is not just a happy coincidence. Therefore, God exists. Believe it or not, the argument you've just watched was, in fact, a valid deductive argument, and in the form of modus tollens. Here's a quick breakdown of how Dr. Craig is applying modus tollens. If P, then Q. If it's true that God does not exist, then it's true that the applicability of mathematics is just a happy coincidence. But not Q. But it's not true that the applicability of mathematics is just a happy coincidence. Therefore, not P. Therefore, it's not true that God does not exist. That is, God exists. So with that in mind, what about this? An argument for cosmic turtle that goes like this. If supernatural cosmic turtle does not exist, the applicability of mathematics is just a happy coincidence. But the applicability of mathematics is not just a happy coincidence. Therefore, supernatural cosmic turtle exists. Lewis Carroll was right. Imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. So although a valid deductive argument has been constructed, is it a proof? And if this supernatural cosmic turtle argument is not a proof, why not? Because for an argument to provide such a proof, including Dr. Craig's, it must be more than just deductively valid. It must not, for example, contain any contentious, unargued for, or false premises.